Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning. Today, inshallah, we will talk about the hand hygiene program auditing. We will learn how we will evaluate the hand hygiene program in the hospitals. We will talk about how we will review the documentation, how we will uh, doing the evaluation, how we will absorb, and also how we will do the interview with the staff. Before we will talk about the hand hygiene program auditing, we should mention that the hand hygiene is a critical component of the patient and staff safety, and also it is effective patient safety and infection control programs require that health personnel must be familiar with the hand hygiene recommendation. Hand hygiene it is in domain number B, element number one. Uh, it have a sub element or eight sub element, and the activity for auditing uh, we need for documentation staff interview and observation and the scoring it will be zero or one or two sub element b 1.1 there are written infection prevention policy and procedure for the hand hygiene including type indication supplies technique and monitoring for this sub element we need for documentation to we will evaluate and review the documentation review the policy and procedure for hand hygiene which should be comprehensive incorporating all the aspects of hand hygiene program as follow type of hand hygiene the hand hygiene what is the hand hygiene it is a general term referring to hand washing antiseptic hand rub or surgical hand antisepsis this is the remaining type of the hand hygiene it should be mentioned in the policy you should be reviewed the hand washing and hand dropping and surgical hand antisepsis number two the indication it should be mentioned in the policy you need to review the indication in the policy and procedure for the hand hygiene program the five moments of the hand hygiene before touching patient before clean aseptic procedure and also after body fluid exposure risk and after touching a patient or touching patient surrounding all of this indication it should be mentioned in the policy and procedure for the hand hygiene program in the hospitals also if they or it should be mentioned or in the policy and procedure they will be include when they will be used the hand washing with water and soap what is the indication for the using of hand washing with water and soap they should be mentioned this indication as when hand is visibly soiled or potential exposure to spore forming as a C. diff and also before eating and after using a restroom all of that it should be mentioned in the policy and procedure for the hand hygiene number three the supplies it should be mentioned also in the policy what is the supplies that they will be used plain soap antimicrobial soap alcohol based hand rub also they should be mentioned the definition and also what is the percentage for the uh, or the concentration for the alcohol based hand rub they will be used all will be reviewed in the policy and procedure for the hand hygiene program number four the technique also you need to review the technique it should be mentioned and also the technique should be will describe it in the policy and apart from the visual illustration and also uh, they should be mentioned the technique of the hand washing with soap and water also the technique for the hand dropping with alcohol and the technique for the surgical hand antisepsis number five the monitoring of the adherence for the hand hygiene uh, CDC and WHO guidelines required monitoring of healthcare providers adherence to the recommended hand hygiene practice with feedback about the parents. Uh, they should be or the hospital should be incorporate the details of the hand hygiene monitoring protocols in the policy. They should have the direct observation of sample of hand hygiene opportunity and they should be calculate the rate of the adherence by the world or by surface assist the quality of the hand hygiene adherence and also monitoring the volume of specific hand hygiene product and it could be automated system that have potential to monitor all patient care episodes also the policy and procedure for the hand hygiene should be fully applicable that means all element of the policy can be applied and comply with the hospital scope services also it should be based on scientific reference that is approved by Ministry of Health like GCC, CDC, WHO and EPIC and here we want to mention that we cannot or it's not allowed for us to we will use another hospital as a reference for us 
the policy it should be signed from authorized person like medical director or the hospital director and it should be approved by infection control committee and it's valid and updated with the two to three years it depends about the policy for the hospital when they are updated them uh, policy sub element uh, b 1.2 hand washing facility and supplies sink with hot and cold water plain and antimicrobial soap and towel are available and easily accessible at least one sink every two to four bed in the critical care area and at least one sink per patient rooms here we need for observation to we will evaluate and audit this sub element here you need to observe the uh, patient room and also the uh, critical area unit you will check the availability of the hand washing facility in patient room as we mentioned it's need one hand sink or one three hand sink each patient room and also you will check the availability of the hand washing facilities inside the critical care unit uh, like ICU CCU in ICU AR and hemodialysis which should be one three hand sink for each two to four bit also you need to observe the number of the hand washing sink if meet the requirement as we mentioned in the sub element it should be one for every two to four bed in critical care area and also it should be one for each uh, patient row also you need to absorb the availability of the water supply hot and cold water you can place your hand under the water tap if it is free operation or you can open the tap to check for the hot and cold water supply it should be have uh, the water supply and it should be have the cold and hot water you will absorb also whether hand washing facilities are conveniently placed and they're easy to access by the staff absorb the availability of the supplies it should have plain soap antimicrobial soap and paper towels for drying sub element b 1.3 alcohol based hand wrap dispenser are available in adequate numbers one dispenser per patient bed one at every nursing station and at any service area here we need for observation to we will audit and evaluate this sub element and hand wrap dispenser it should be uh, uh, or the alcohol hand wrap dispenser it should be in the hospital as per requirement mentioned in the sub element before it should be one dispenser per patient bed and one every nursing station and at any services area also the dispenser are conveniently mounted and accessible at the point of care as example it should be in the entrance of each patient room examination room and treatment rooms uh, dispenser should not be installed over the directly adjustment to the electrical outlet or the switches and also you need to randomly open any dispenser to check if hand sanitizer is available or not and also you will check the expiry date and you should be sure that it is not expired sub element b 1.4 hand hygiene compliance rate are regularly monitored and results are discussed it in the infection control committee meeting for corrective action here we need for documentation to we can review and uh, evaluate this uh, sub element you need to review the hand hygiene compliance report review the trend data over time that compares the hand hygiene compliance rate over the month and compare different staff category and unit after you will review the hand hygiene compliance reports you need to review the infection control committee meeting minutes you need to review at least three committee meeting minutes and verify if hand hygiene trends are presented and discuss it in any of these three meetings and also you need to check for the suggestive of correction action if hand hygiene compliance is low the corrective action plan for the hand hygiene compliance rate it should be include continuous education and training for the healthcare worker continuous monitoring and observation performance feedback on the compliance and also ensuring availability of the supply for the hand hygiene in adequate amount and appropriate places 
also it should have disciplinary action for any breaches in their practices, administrative support, performance improvement project for the hand hygiene, and motivational programs. Sub-element B1.5, visual alert for hand hygiene are available. World Health Organization five moments, how to hand wash, how to hand rub, and healthcare worker are knowledgeable about it. Here we need for observation and staff interview to we will review and evaluate this sub-element. You need to absorb the visual education tools and visual alerts for the staff reminder at workplaces and it should be posted at the appropriate place. World Health Organization five moments for the hand hygiene. It should be in the nursing station, procedure rooms, OPT clinic, and so on. Posters for the how to hand washing and how to hand rub, it should be in each hand washing sink. For the interview, you need to randomly choose and ask the staff belong to the different category. Don't focus, please, only about the nurse. You can ask doctors, nurse, technician, respiratory, if they are aware and have good knowledge about the five moment and for the steps of the hand hygiene. You can ask them to enumerate steps for the hand washing and hand rub. Also, you can ask them about the World Health Organization five moment of the hand hygiene by direct question or by give them a scenario. Here we will give some examples for the opportunity of the hand hygiene in the dialysis unit for the five women. You can use it in, at the interview with the staff. Number one, before touching patient, before entering any station to provide care for the patient, before contact with the vascular access site, before adjusting or removing the cannula. Number two, before a septic procedure, as or like before cannulation or access in the catheter before performing catheter side care and also number three following body fluid exposure like following exposure to the any blood or body fluid following contact with other contaminated fluids and also after performing wound care or dressing changing number four it is after the touching patient uh, as or like uh, when leaving the station after performing patient care or after removing the gloves Number five, after touching patient surrounding, like when you leaving the station after touching dialysis machine or other item within the dialysis station, and after also removing the gloves. This is some example for the five moment of the hand hygiene uh, uh, opportunity. Uh, you can use it, it is for the dialysis uh, unit. This is the poster for how to hand wash. It have 11 steps. This one, it should be uh, in each department, uh, like uh, nurse station, procedure uh, room, uh, also the OPD clinic, and also it should be in each hand washing sink. This is the how to hand drop poster. It should be in the all department, like uh, nurse station, also a procedure room, and also in each hand washing sink. Sub element B1.6, healthcare workers 8 to 10 are performing hand hygiene properly, appropriate technique and recommended duration, need for observation and staff interview to audit and evaluate this sub element. During your visit for the hospital, for the old department, you need to observe the staff practice, whether they are compliant with the hand hygiene practice or not. And also, you need to observe the staff if they are following the recommended duration steps and technique of the hand dropping and the hand washing. You need also to select randomly different category of the healthcare workers. You can ask doctors, nurse, technician, cleaners, and you ask them about the stimulate for you the hand hygiene. They will practice in front of you, and you can see if they are following the same duration or the same and the same technique and the steps. You need to interview with at least eight to 10 different category to get the average about them performance. Don't ask only one or two staff. You need to ask at least eight to 10 uh, staff and you need to have different category like doctor, nurse, lab technician, respiratory therapy, housekeeping, 
and also you need to cover all the units you need to ask in ER also in ICU OR hemodialysis so you can give the average about the preference for all the healthcare worker in the hospital in all department sub element B 1.7 World Health Organization hand hygiene improvement strategy tools are applied to improve the quality of hand hygiene. For evaluate and audit this sub-element, we need for documentation, observation, and staff interview. The key component of the World Health Organization multimodal hand hygiene improvement strategy are one, the system change, ensuring that the necessary infrastructure in place to allow healthcare worker to practice hand hygiene. Number two, the training and education. Provide regular training on the importance of hand hygiene based on the five moments of the hand hygiene. And number three, evaluation and feedback. Monitoring the hand hygiene practices and infrastructure. Uh, uh, along with related uh, uh, knowledge among healthcare worker and also uh, uh, give them uh, feedback about the results. Number four, reminders in the workplace. And number five, in situational safety climate. For more information about the World Health Organization multimodal hand hygiene improvement strategy, you can check this link. Review the various hand hygiene improvement strategy tool in the infection control department. Check the tools for the system change. Check the world infrastructure survey, alcohol-based hand drop planning, and the costing tool. Also, check the tool for the training and education, slides for the hand hygiene coordinator, slides for education season for the trainers, observe the uh, hand hygiene uh, training video and observation forms. Review the tools for the evaluation and feedback, hand hygiene technical references manual, observation tools, observation form, and compliance calculation form. Also review the tool for the reminders in the workplace, the five moment hand hygiene poster, how to hand wash poster, how to hand wrap poster also. Absorbed in different patient care area, the World Health Organization education tools for the reminders at workplace. Absorb the five moment for the hand hygiene poster, safe lives also poster, hand washing poster, and hand wrap poster. Interview with the infection prevention and control team member about the World Health Organization multimodal hand hygiene improvement strategy tools. Ask them about how they are using and implementing the various tools used for improving the hand hygiene. And you can randomly ask how they are implementing the World Health Organization tool for the hand hygiene observation for any department like ER, hemodialysis, and also critical care area like ICU and ICU by using the World Health Organization observation forms. Sub element B1.8, reporting for hand hygiene self-assessment is active and ongoing. The World Health Organization hand hygiene self-assessment framework action plan to improve the quality of hand hygiene. For this, we need for documentation and staff interview to we can evaluate and audit this sub element. Review the following document. Uh, you need to review the last hand hygiene self-assessment report that already submit to the GDIBC. Also, you need and check the completeness of the self-assessment document, which should be including all the five components of the multimodal strategy for improvement, which we mentioned before, like the system change, training and education, evaluation and feedback, reminder in the workplace, and in situation safety climate of hand hygiene. Also review the action plan formulated based on the hand hygiene self-assessment result. And also you will check the hand hygiene self-assessment result in the past three years to check the progress of the program and whether there is improvement or not. Also you need to uh, review the uh, document related to improvement project based on the result. And the hospital, if the scoring for the hospital advances, they should provide the document listed in the hand hygiene self-assessment to appropriate. For the interview, you need to meet.
the infection control team and you ask them about the frequently they are submitting the hand hygiene self-assessment framework to the GDIBC and for the World Health Organization. And also you can ask them about the components and the major indicator of each component. And you can also ask them how the tool works and how is the interpretation done.